One of the most exciting fields to go into is medical physics. If you love math, chemistry, physics, um, maybe even computer science and engineering, but you want to be connected to the medical field, then medical physics might be for you. So here's how it works. What are the steps you take if you want to become a medical physicist? The first step is you need to, I would recommend, you don't have to for the first degree, but I would recommend physics, chemistry, mathematics, computer science, or electrical engineering. But I would say maybe physics pre-med would be one interesting mix. So basically you get to take anatomy and physiology, you take chemistry, physics, math, calculus, calc two, linear algebra, take all of those courses, get your bachelor's degree, okay? Then the next step is get a master's degree in medical physics, um, there's something called CAMPEP. That's what I would recommend that you consider going to a CAMPEP university so that you can do a residency and then you can become a board certified physicist. That's the sort of ideal route I'm speaking for. But basically get a bachelor's degree in chemistry or physics and then get a master's degree in medical physics and then you could, you could have the opportunity to work at hospitals, clinics, helping them make sure there's radiation safety. Um, you know, it's just, and if you love technology, it seems to be a very interesting field that brings together tech and medicine. Let me know if you have any questions about becoming a medical physicist. I just wanted to make a short video for those who are wondering how to become a medical physicist. Uh, what a physicist does on a day-to-day -day, um, sort of uh, schedule ro changes depending on what modality, whether it's CT or MRI or ultrasound or x-ray, what are they looking at, right? And so we'll make another video in this series. Stay tuned for that uh, on how to become a physicist. Have a blessed day.